Hello again and welcome to the video series of visual programming with Java using NetBeans. My name is Samer Audi, and in this lesson we will learn about uh, some design concepts and techniques uh, in visual programming and we will get to know NetBeans uh, the IDE a little bit better. So let's go ahead and start. I will start a new project and I will choose a Java desktop application. Next. And I will give it a name design concepts I'll make sure set as main project is selected basic application go ahead and click finish okay I have my project already created for me we can take a look at the files if we want that are in the project or we can take a look at the project view and over here we can see the member view or we can see the inspector I will keep the inspector for now and I will just resize my area a little bit okay first of all when we create a desktop application in NetBeans uh, what we're looking at with a simple desktop application is really three files the uh, design concept this is the name of my application the view so basically I have here um, a container and some uh, GUI components and of course if you remember when we ran the application last time we also have here the menu available this will exit the application and this will give me the uh, about uh, dialog which has a close and again I will exit for now so basically uh, this is the output pane. I'll close it for now. Okay, I have here this is the about box and This is the application itself. So this is uh, really setting up the application and this is the view um, Which is basically uh, the GUI components as I just mentioned Okay, what I want to do next is to examine the different things that I have in this application so I will just maximize this a little bit all right um, I have here my uh, form designer okay and on it I have one two three four different uh, components uh, this is the frame and as you see I have uh, on it the different components which are the main panel the menu bar the status bar so I will go ahead and click them one by one and you will see that once something is selected here in NetBeans it's uh, really highlighted with this uh, orange border the main panel okay as you see and the menu bar the status panel and we can see that we can expand some of them so on the main panel really I have nothing yet a menu bar I already have two menus okay the file menu again in it I have one menu item which is the exit menu item and I have the other menu the help menu the status panel has also a few uh, components or controls available on it we can see uh, the separator okay we can see a label here and we can see another label used for animation and we can see the progress uh, par uh, bar okay so what I want to do right now I just want to add a few components in this application uh, we will do no programming at all okay so let us get started this is my palette and as you see it has the swing containers the swing controls and the swing menus the containers include things like the panel, like the toolbar, and the controls include the buttons, your text boxes, text areas, and so on. Okay, uh, what I want to do as a starter, I want to add a few menu items to my file menu. I want to add another menu with items in it. So let us go ahead. All right. Uh, I'll go to the swing menu and I will choose a menu item I will simply drag it make sure that you drag it into the file menu you see the um, uh, the dashed border so go ahead I have an item now what I want to do is double click the word item 
and just call it new so this is you know uh, an item that actually uh, opens a, a new document let's say I will click this uh, shortcut for this command and I will go to the keystroke okay and basically what I'm doing right now on the keyboard I will choose my keystroke or a combination so what I want to do for a new document usually it's control N and as soon as I do that I will have my uh, virtual key now available as a shortcut so go ahead and click OK we have this now then I want to actually move this above the exit so I have a new now we go ahead and add another one I'll put it here right after new again double click and call it open so I will repeat the same thing go to the shortcut double click go in here and do control O to open a new file let us take a look to the left side in the inspector we see actually that let me just expand it a little bit we see that under the file menu I have two new items they are J menu item this is the kind of control what I want to do is to rename them so the first one is the new the second one is the open as you see they get highlighted here also so I'll double click this oops sorry it's not what I wanted to do I simply want to rename it so I'll click and this I will call it the new menu item hit enter and go to the second menu item and call it the again a click or you can right click and do rename I'll do open menu item hit enter okay this is it for the file menu right now I'll just change it back right now what I want to do is to add a new menu a menu is a container because it can have many menu items as we just saw so basically in the swing menu uh, palette I will go ahead and choose the menu and I will drag it here um, you see actually this created a sub menu under help it's not what I wanted to do I can just drag it out here okay let's take a look what actually happened the J menu the menu that I actually just added it went under the help menu and I did that by mistake I actually want it to be in the menu bar this actually is creating a sub menu under the help and sometimes it is useful sometimes it is what you want to do but for now it's not so what I want to do I'm just gonna move it and put it under the menu bar as you see right now it's a child of the menu bar but I will go ahead and move it here between the file and the help okay so right now everything is okay I have three menus the second menu I will call it uh, let's just call it the edit menu okay yeah edit is fine and I will add just an item okay and I will call this item copy the shortcut is control C another item that I will add is the let's say the paste and let me just move that here okay and I will call it paste and the shortcut will be control V okay again I can rename these variables this is the name of the variable actually as we see so this I will call it uh, copy menu item 